by now you should uh, probably you know a little bit more about this MLB thing and this voting rights stuff that's happening in Georgia. And what are the things that are being said <laughs> about, you know, how racist and Jim Crow these, uh, this law is. Well, you, you got to know who actually came up with Jim Crow laws, okay? So those are Democrats. <laughs> you, you know, the, the poll tax, you know, you got to know who was enforcing that. You know, who was enforcing the poll tax? Those are Democrats. Well, you also need to know something a little, little special here, okay? So it's a whole, and I, I, I hate to generalize this, but it's kind of what I see. A whole lot of white liberals are out there claiming that black people are too stupid to get IDs. <laughs> and the thing is, is like, they're, they're basically parroting these talking points by the so-called people that want to help black people, okay? First off, black folks, we gave up way too much. In fact, black people aren't going to really recognize how much we're giving up right now via the issues at the border. Black people are just, just completely ignorant of what's actually happening with the border and, and even like the abortion the abortion industry. We're, if we're, eliminating, we're eliminating black people within the nation of the United States of America. But folks don't want to understand that. They want to think that, you know, we can support the abortion industry when they're killing black babies. But you understand that these liberals are basically saying, and these Democrats, some of them maybe knowingly, maybe some of them unknowingly, are calling black people really, really stupid. Like, I remember even as a kid, you never leave the house without your ID. You get, a, you get an ID as a kid because you know you don't want to be mistaken for somebody else doing something stupid. You just want to have your ID on you. You know that that's that was always a thing. But to think that we're too dumb to carry an ID, to know where the DMV's at, to take care of ourselves, we need somebody else to save us as black people is completely wholly racist. Okay, these people they don't know how racist they actually are. In fact, they don't understand that we talk about systemic racism. It comes from people like that that believe these things about individuals. It's not just white people. It's a whole lot of people that do this towards others. And then, you know, you hear that these talking points parroted by individuals of all ethnicities. But when you when I hear it from black people, I'm kind of like, do you guys even know what you're saying? Do you understand what you're saying? So you're gonna see me post a couple different things today that I think you should see. You know, this Ami Horowitz interviews of black people, of these white liberals in college, it's gonna be pretty interesting to you and I hope that you take it to heart, but I need you to understand something. The generalizations that are blanketed upon black people for the purposes of political gain, like there's folks who are just like me who are over it. We're done with being you know, treated with kid gloves because we're just too dumb and too poor and we need every little bit of help that we can get by these altru altruistic white people that are out there to help us, that are out there to lift up our voices and are out there to say Black Lives Matter and crap, hold up your fists. We're over, like, people like me are over it. And, and, I, and you'll see me post more about this stuff because it just needs to be said. But what else, what also needs to be said is that if black people keep aligning themselves with these individuals who really don't have their best interests at heart, the reparations, they don't have best interests of black people at heart. They always bring this stuff around every four years. Kamala Harris is gonna use it to try to get more power, so are anybody else in the Democrat party. These people do not have the best interests of black people at heart. What they have at heart is the ability to keep, is the desire to keep power. And they figure that if they can keep the one blo voting block that always stays so faithful to the Democrat party because I'll have those niggers voting Democrat for the next 200 years. Look that one up. Just understand that we're being, we've are being we been played. Now, the next group of people who's going to be played, I'm going to do a video about this here shortly, is going to be Mexicans. It's going to be Hondurans. It's going to be Salvis. It's going to be anybody south of the, the United States border. Y'all are next. You just have no clue how it's going to come. Black people with a prototype. Y'all the next ones in the machine line. Hope you, hope you know that. I hope you know that.